G'day guys, it's Jara here. This will go up, as you can clearly see, but I'm telling you now, it will be of bad quality, and you guys know how much I hate putting up bad quality videos and stuff like that. But, I decided that you can, I still want to put it up anyway, because as of editing it now, I didn't know, and to be honest, I really need to get a video up. So I do apologize on how bad the video is. Um, it's okay in, in some to most parts it's just in some sections the face cam's a bit like jittery like now it's like now let's move on with the next thing like it's kind of like it didn't focus all the way as it does with this it was kind of just like stops stop stop but the audio is still there visuals are still there and stuff like that so if you want just ignore my face and enjoy the video G'day guys, it's Jarrah here and welcome to Barney's Room. So, I haven't heard much about this game other than I saw Ethan from Creek Gameplays play this. So, let's get on with the game, shall we? I didn't want to come back. Why would I? And why did you? After all that's happened. Uh -huh. Even in here. So, What's happened? Where is the journal? Sorry, I'm just moving the mic a little bit closer. Okay, so let's have a look, a little bit of a look, look around. The staircase. I know how to move. So we got some kids. Okay, this is really loud in my ear holes. So it looks like a mother and, whoa, that's a cool photo frame. It changes? Really? Yo, that's awesome. Aw, so that's a married couple. Whoa. So it's, wait. What, more than a hundred again world? today? Glad I don't have to deal with that anymore. So it's 2042. I have no idea no, what a hundred degrees is. That's her parents' room. I want to look at everything before I go into the blatantly obvious room. Is that me? Oh my god, the hair. What was I thinking? So I'm assuming I'm the one in the red hair. Science Fair 2018, this year, second place. Okay, anything else that's of note? If not, go straight in. No energy unless you are a tourist from the future. Welcome back, Kelsey. Casey. I'll say Kelsey. Hi, Kelsey. Hi, Kelsey. Yes, I'm talking yes, I'm to talking you. to you. I know you've Oops, been reading sorry. my journal. Can I ever forgive you for what you did? Well, Honestly, I, do. I don't know. I'm trying really hard, but I don't know how. Because I don't understand any of it. You are my friend. I do. And I loved you unconditionally. I did what I did because of you, and I stood up to him because of you. But you... I don't know. Right now, I can't be near you, so I don't want you to come find me. I promise I'll be alright. Marie. Except she wouldn't be. She would not be alright. What's going on? Are we in the same room? Yeah, we're in the same room. We just went back in time. It looks like. That's phone. Trevor's phone number. He called her. I know he blamed her for everything. Though she should have blamed him for what he did to her and Mr. Torres. I need to find the key. A five-figure number. Okay. I'm just looking at everything before I even... Wake me up when I'm famous. She seemed like a real sciencey. She once asked me person. 
don't you ever dream, Kelsey? And I said, I don't. Yeah, it is Kelsey. I don't dream. I plan. What I didn't tell her I like was that, that I, I wouldn't allow that. anyone to mess with those plans. Okay, that sounded a bit ominous. Also, I have that I love. The whole fairy lights. I'd love to do that in my room. So, you have a pet cat somewhere? Maybe. Vinyl box. Nice vinyl plane. Marie hey, Australia! Always dreamed about going to Europe. <laughs> I don't think she ever went. I don't think she ever went. But look, my little country, Australia. Aww. I hardly ever get shown in games, so when it does, I get really happy. I'm sorry. She's my friend, X. and I had to tell her. So I came back here, throwing stones at the window, but she didn't react. So I threw a bigger stone and it shattered the glass. She kept the stone as a souvenir to remind her not to trust me ever again. That is a childish thing to do. Um, what else? We got a birthday card, notebook. La La Land. That movie was a shit piece of crap. Glad Trevor snuck I us agree. in. I agree. I don't think I could have handled wasting 20 bucks on that. Never thought I'd see Valentine's Marie there. Day. Then again, she always was a dreamer. I bet she loved it. She never realized I didn't want to be her friend in public. I personally didn't like that movie. The only reason I didn't like it is because I'm a huge musical fan. And I... It wasn't a musical. It was a wannabe musical and I didn't like that. Lorraine, Marie's mom, died when she was five. My mother, she might as well Aww. have been dead. She looked more dead than alive, anyhow. Passed out on the couch, empty bottles of gin on the floor. For my little Marie cure. It's a beautiful thing. That's something I want. Trevor. What's this? What an asshole. After we broke up, he got violent sometimes. One day, he dragged me through the school hall by my shirt. Until one of Marie's geek friends stopped him. Ben, I think it was. He got a lot of shit for it later. Yeah, but I'm glad he did the right thing and decided to help you out. Password. Cats? No. I think I hit the bat button. Damn, what's the password again? I need to find it. I'm not A. Hmm. So I have to find a password now that says... Something to do I'm not A. Mr. Mm, Torres. Thick as thieves, those two. Ever since Lorraine died, they only had each other. Starbucks over there. Marie was suffering when he was in intensive care. That was a nasty knife wound. Okay. She wouldn't stop about time travel and black holes the and future stuff. Future Torres from I the future. I just wanted to do something simple. Calculate shit. Time travel. Boring, is what she said. Her. It's a weird walking. kid ducked boring. So yeah, we settled on anti-matter. Because who wants to be boring? R.I.P. Stephen Hawking. R.I.P. Three theories of time travel. Think of, like a proton and stay positive. So she was a very science-based girl. Which is awesome. I love science. Ah, uh, yes. The science project. Of all people, they chose to pair me with the girl from Marie Food Rescue. Kelsey. Outrageous. But I got over it and chose to work my ass off. I had to if I wanted to get that scholarship. Looks like Adams? Looks like some Adams drawings over there. Don't know if that's helpful. That's Marie's birthday. That's weird. I guess she wrote it down for that Ben guy for her pizza and movie party. All right, I might have been a little jealous. Hmm. I'm assuming you get invited. Chemistry holds no surprises. Love that. See, 
HNO5622. Maybe that's the five digit code. Hated that thing. Good to know. Uh -huh. Hmm. Have you seen this man? <laughs> yeah. Is that Trevor? I've seen him. Oh, Kelsey's I thought fine. I was so lucky. An adoring boyfriend, free burgers from the kitchen he worked in, sparkly things he bought me. I thought if I took care of him, he'd take care of me, and we'd get out just in case I didn't get that scholarship. I had no idea where the money came from. I could watch from. that gorgeous mouth eat anything. So this is from face, what you can tell by how this is laid out. That's disgusting though. I could watch that gorgeous mouth eat anything. That's a bit of a gross innuendo. I think. Some nice converse. Ooh. Kelsey's Disgusting, back. but cheap. I got used to them after I didn't want to go to the food kitchen anymore. The vicious taste of these meatballs still beat the humiliation of being served by Marie. Okay. Interesting. Orange peels, it looks like. Have you ever peeled an orange so juicy the drops erupted from underneath the skin like fireworks in the setting sun? Yeah. The trees in Mr. Jones's garden had them. I used to live off his garden vegetables and fruit before I met Trevor. Hmm. Why did you change? Don't let a guy change you. If you wanted to keep eating those oranges, then you could have. So we got that stone. I that didn't was like the that she kept the stone. Why did she have to be reminded? I told her I was sorry, but she said it was for me to remind me. I like that, all the different planets. Oh, it doesn't have Pluto on there. Poor, poor Pluto. She hated my cigarettes. Every time I felt like going out and buying a pack, she made me put the money in that money jar. One day, that money would Good pay friend. for our gas to drive to college. We only needed money for the one way. I ended up using it That's to get to friend. Vancouver. A friend that Mr. Torres and Marie were robbed in their own house. Not long after what? we met at Food Rescue. He was stabbed. Almost died. She was knocked out with a baseball bat. She was in the hospital for a while. Stitches. Concussion. She still had headaches, she said. Jesus, that is not good. Okay, still, I want to click on that, but it's not letting me, so I'm assuming that's not important. Pizza Marie boxes. insisted Yum, pizza. on saving these. She was going to make a new world with them. Whatever that was supposed to be. I've never actually seen her build anything. I have a reflection. Also, those stars, though. The stars are pretty cool. That's a cool photo. T-shirt. There's no such thing as food waste. And don't I know it. The smell of garbage will be in my nose forever. And the taste of it in my mouth. I swore I would never be that hungry again. I didn't care what it took. So, assuming you got kicked out of your home, was so hungry you started eating trash until you found a food rescue at Orange Grove. Kelsey's jacket. She asked me why I was so angry all the time, and I told her because. It's a dirty deal. It's Russian roulette and utterly unfair. The cards had been dealt. Any player would have passed. I chose to be angry instead. But Marie? I guess that's My friend thing. Marie. She got me a new deck. And suggested I deal again. I feel like that's a bit more than just a game of cards. I feel like that's kind of... You've gone through a hard life. Let me help you out. And that's what friends are for. Helping each other out. He had money. Sparkly shoes. You see? He bought me things. I was going to wear these to the prom. Fancy, right? At the time, I didn't Very. know where the money came from. Good question. Was a nice mixtape. I'm not a shadow person. I'm not Yeah. shadow It took person. me all I had to convince her she wasn't. 
shadow person. That's the thingy for the computer. Shadow person. Kitty gift. It's a cat watching a phone have fish on it. That's a bit cute. Okay, I like that background. One Internet? day, I just had to know. What's up with cats. all the cats? She said she admired them. Pinterest? That they were who they were without any pretense. That they had no fear of confrontation. She wanted to be more like them. I understand. When Bumblebee went missing, Bumblebee. Marie cried for days. She thought I couldn't hear her at night. I could oh. never prove it, but I'm sure it was Trevor. Marie, oh, what were you thinking? You know that's illegal. Why are you trying to buy a gun? Why does someone need to Let's get hurt emails, before even we don't step up and act, emails. for Christ's sake? If they had, none of this shit would have happened, and no one would have died. Hi, Marie. It grieves me to hear that this is how you feel, but I'm afraid there's not much I can do at this stage. I understand you are alarmed and feel unsafe, but Trevor has not broken any school laws, nor has he hurt anyone. I would like to invite you and Trevor into my office to see if we can start up a conversation between the two of you. Let me know when you are ready to talk. You know where to find me. Kind regards, Principal oh, no. J. Why didn't you tell me, I see Marie? You. No wonder you were so frightened. We never should have gone to the Orange Grove. Is this a photo of you and your dad? And he's stalking you? That is very creepy. Is there anything else I can... Mm. Tara's Wi-Fi. Thirty percent charge. July. Oh, I hate when Americans do that. It's the seventh of July, twenty eighteen. That's how we read it. Everywhere else in Australia, we read it seventh of July, twenty eighteen. So I guess come out of here. We're still looking for a five-digit code, but I want to finish going through everything before I even have a. Double check, I guess you could say. The green, the green eatery, eatery. eatery. Green as in with fungus. Yes, I am never eating Haruvedic lasagna ever again. But some people must have liked Mr. Jones's cooking because he was out every night cooking his green stuff. It's good to know. What was this name? Food back? rescue. Yeah, it was a good place to be until Marie showed up. I know she didn't mean anything by it, but the pity in her eyes. Worse than being hungry. You were. A she was a volunteer. And you were there to actually eat the food. Bike helmet. I couldn't afford a car, and Marie didn't want one, so we rode our bikes everywhere. I thought I looked silly, and with those damn sparkly shoes, I probably did. Yeah, oh, you I was losing my glamour status at school right there. Honey, it doesn't matter. You get to school how you get to school. She loved being a birthday think. girl. Mr. Torres would take her shopping every year. Okay, there's this one I love studio, skinny bikini. dipping. But Marie insisted on wearing this thing. Really, I mean, it was Mr. Jones's pool. After dark, no one would ever come close to the freak. And he wasn't there, just to be clear. But someone else was. That's creepy. And someone else was there. Every Tuesday, the menu. food trucks would roll in. Me and Marie never missed Jorge's tamales. When I was a kid, Jorge would put some aside, just in case my mom was too drunk to feed me again. Got it. So you had an abusive drunk mother who kicked you out of your house, and you 
decided to eat food from the trash because you could eat it. and then you went to the food rescue who then Marie was there and kind of took you in so I'm still looking for that five digit code but I think I saw this sparkle before last one high school kid saves classmate from hunger after that school article people kept asking me why I did it as if some kind of hero so stupid and I kept telling them the same story Aren't they sick of it yet? Maybe I should publish a book, my life story, so they'll stop bugging me, crazy people. Here, for the last time. Last fall, I was caught stealing someone's lunch from a backpack. As he stuffed the sandwich in his mouth, our eyes locked. He panicked, dropped the food, and ran. I never realized some of my classmates were actually hungry, so I joined Food Rescue to help. There, the end. Everyone's satisfied? So that was November 9th, 2017. November 17th. We had a party today, celebrating three years of food rescue. Everyone was there, all those happy, familiar faces. I loved it. Kelsey came in. I never took her for one of the hungry. I don't think she knows my name, but everyone knows her. She's gorgeous. It surprised me, it's all. I could see the shame in her eyes when she had to accept the bad groceries from me. Still, I couldn't take my eyes off her. If this world allowed someone like Kelsey Jackson to be hungry, it must be everywhere. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight it with everything I've got. November twenty first, twenty seventeen. OMG! They put me on Kelsey's team. My heart races whenever I stop to think about it. Don't think, she, don't think she's all that pleased though. I wonder whether she'll remember me from food rescue. God, I hope not. I feel so connected to her. Isn't that weird? I'd love for us to be friends. She's just amazing. Can't wait to start working on the science project. Did you get that? Our project. I thought like we would explode from excitement. So I assume Kelsey's like the popular girl. December 4, 2017. I screwed up. But I was worried. I'm still worried. And what else could I do? Kelsey hasn't been to the food rescue in a while. And I just wanted to make sure she wasn't hungry or something. So I offered her my sandwich. Ugh, why did I do that? Now we'll never be friends. Good one, Marie. Really, really well done. She looked at me like I was crazy and walked out. And now we're behind on the project too. I hope we can make the deadline. December 22nd, 2017. Just stop! Why do you keep writing this shit? I know there isn't much news in Orange Grove, but it's been ages. Not literally, but you know. They're never going to find them. I wish everyone would just stop. Leave us alone so I can forget the whole god awful night. Something my dad... Something my dad was here for trying to stop them. Truth is, we never saw them coming. When the guy jumped and stabbed my dad, something snapped and I would have punched him, scratched his eyes out. I swear. I think I could have killed him. But the other one got to me before I even knew there were two. I never saw their faces. Neither did my dad. So then he never caught them. I'm not a famous. Nothing was different. January the 5th, 2018. We're all just matter, that's what Kelsey keeps saying, and she's right. But matter is also life, and life is something we need to take care of. She likes to be out on a limb. She says she's got nothing to lose. Bam. She didn't even realize what she was saying, or maybe I'm too sensitive. Guess that will show me to believe that we were friends. I guess I'm a shadow person after all. I think that she's going to break her neck, by the way. See if I care. Loving the chemistry. Life matters. January the 10th, 2018. I love cats because they're not afraid to be different. January the 19th. Happy birthday, mom. January 28, 2018. I'm trying to ignore the fact that all of Kelsey's cute stuff is paid for with Trevor's money. He's such a creep. I don't get what she sees in him. She says I'm jealous. As if. This is. She thinks she needs him to get away from all of us. Okay. But she doesn't. She's got away from her mum all on her own. Kelsey is the smartest, coolest, sweetest person you can imagine. She doesn't need anyone to get her out. She can do that all on her own. Too bad she doesn't believe that herself. February 14, 2018. F. I'm so stupid. I finally got to see La, La Land. They showed it on Classics Nights at the theatre. Yeah, because, no, oh no. Yeah, because it's 2018. This came out last year, 2017. Kelsey was there too. I'm so, I was so happy to see her. I actually freaking hugged her, and she pushed me away, asked me what I thought I was doing, and that Trevor 
asshole was enjoying this show with his stupid cheerleader friends. We're going to be friends. I feel out of place everywhere outside of this room. She said she was sorry, but F. She was sorry, I know. But F. I feel like I'm walking on eggshells. That is not what friendship should be like, right? I feel disconnected. She did not want to be my friend. She was embarrassed. F, F, F. February 14th, 2018. So this one is February 16th, 2018. Okay, I've calmed down a bit. That la la night she was with Trevor and he's such a effing asshole. She's different when she's around him. Not that it makes it alright. But she did come over to tell me she was sorry. She knows she was wrong. Broke my window with that damn rock. She said if I'd answered the calls of the pebbles, she wouldn't have thrown the rock. Since being here, since being here ever since, she doesn't have anywhere else to go really, except for Trevor. I'm glad she'd rather sleep here right now. As I write this, she's on the bed going over some notes for a class. I like having her here, and Dad's okay with it. March third, twenty eighteen. Looks like a tire track. Possibly. I'm talking about this year. Don't really know what that is. March 17, 2018. Oh, those sparkly shoes. She wears them all the time. Last night, the heels dug into my calf. That freaking hurt. Have you seen those heels? So I yanked them off of her feet and told her, not on the bed. She was amused. I can't think why. To be honest, I wish it was a size 9 because they look absolutely gorgeous. On Kelsey's feet, at least, when I tried them on, I felt I looked like a little girl trying on mommy's shoes. March 17, 2018. You may have noticed, sweet journal, that there are less than there are less and less F words in these pages. I'm so freaking proud. Ha! Huh. Only when I go berserk, like when Kelsey threw that rock through my window, then it's hard to keep up. Did you know that as a little girl, I used to curse ab abdently? I'm trying to set my vocabulary here. Dad thought it indicated intelligence. But I guess it looked cute up to a certain age, but he said mum hated it. So every time I used the F word, he made me put a piece of candy in the swear jar. Can't tell you how much that hurt every time because I never see it again. I think he secretly ate it. He must have rejoiced up in the vocab extension again. Every time I swore like a madman, mad woman, must have. The F and swear jar. She called me her friend today. I am not a shadow person anymore. She's my friend. March 27, 2018. Martin Luther King. I have a dream. All is now harm. Kelsey's so angry at the world. Like, all the time. It's kind of annoying. But I get it. We all have different stories to tell. So as a friend, I did the only... I did that only decent... As a friend, I did the only decent thing. I told her she could do anything she wanted. She just had to make it happen, not wait for it. I told her to deal again, not drugs, the cards. So that was April 9th, 2018. This is April 11th, 2018. Kelsey broke up with Trevor. Finally! Good on you, Kelsey. She can do so much better than that total loser. He assaulted her in the school hallway. Of course, no one saw it, but he literally tore her clothes from her body. F. I promise not to swear, so there you go. But she's done with him now. Things can only get better. That's good to hear. April 13th, 2018. I think he's crazy. He keeps calling me at the most impossible hours just to yell at me, calling me names, treating me like that if I don't let Kelsey go, he'll do this or that, as if I've got it tied up here. And now I'll plug the phone when I go to sleep. May 19th, 2018. Today was a good day. Only five emails from Trevor. Only five. I think he's finally getting it. She's not coming back. He really holds me responsible for it. I can, can handle it. If it keeps him away from her. When I saw him in the hallway this morning, he slid his fingers across his throat again. As if as if he wasn't such a scary ass clown. I'd laugh, but he does scare me. I don't tell Kelsey these things. She wouldn't she shouldn't worry. May 19th, 2018. Kelsey took me night swimming in Mr. Jones's pool. I was scared shitless. The first time, but uh Two beers and fresh to pick oranges? Chill. Best night ever. All it takes is for you to just relax and be with friends and that's a good night. June the 12th, 2018. 
They're not listening. I tried every authority at school. I even tried the cops, but they just patted my shoulder. Poor little girl, still traumatized, bumped in the on the head, didn't do her any good. Ugh. Yeah, I'm sorry now. A jar full of candy. What should I do? I wish I could tell Kelsey, but she'll go insane and get herself hurt, or worse. Go back to him. Trevor is dangerous. June 23rd, 2018. I know it's him, and there's nothing I can do. They'll never believe me. I don't think I'll ever see Bumblebee again. June 30th, 2018. I can't sit and watch. I have to be fearless. I found this site where you can buy guns off anyone. Not that I meant to shoot anyone, it's just... I don't know what to do anymore. It's for protection, you know? Isn't that what they say? Anyway, there was a gun who... This guy who wanted to sell me this totally new 9mm. I'll meet out with... Out of town, a little shady, I met. With Trevor looking around, I'll take my chances. Any day. It's not how you should be doing it. June 30th, 2018. Bad news. There's been another home invasion, just two blocks from here. They killed the woman this time, and the police think it's Trevor. Suppose it was him in our house? Oh god. I can't wrap my, ha my head around things. It's too big. But Kelsey says it isn't true. That Trevor is a bastard, but would never commit such a violent act. Looking at the torn shirt, I think she might be in denial there. July 5th, 2018. I did it. I hope I'm not going to regret it. So she bought the gun. Hence the law. July 7th, 2018. We need this. Beer, water, oranges. Like so many nights before Trevor. No. I'm not going to let him spoil my night at the pool with Kelsey. He who shall not be named shall not be named. Not today. Great BTS song. I think that's all the pages. So I noticed one thing as I was reading through the pages. Is that there's these red let uh, red numbers. So there's a three... Uh, where's the other one I saw? A four, a nine, and a five. So I need one more number, and then I reckon that will be the code. But I don't know what else I've missed in her room. I'm trying to go over everything. But I don't know, like, how close you need to be to certain things, or, like, you know, stuff like that. Maybe postcards? No. Oh, beer bottle. Hello. Mr. Torres loved that beer. After the robbery, he only had There's a couple one. left. Apparently, they were hard to come by. Still, we decided to try a bottle once. Marie loved that label. She drew it in her journal. I remember that. All that happened later that night, I'm not sure. Maybe I don't want to remember. Okay, well, I'm going back to the journal just so I can read that part. Because I'd like to know what it says before I open up the gun. So she just drew that, which is one. Cheers. So now that I have the code. I need to find the key. Is, A five figure number. Uh, five, four, three. Ah, four, nine, five, one. Yay! Good Yay. work, Kelsey. That actually worked. A change of heart. Oh my god. Oh god. The past. What? Like the future. Do you do? Is indefinite and exists only as a spectrum of possibilities. Stephen Hawking said that. I wish it were true. R.I.P. Stephen Hawking. But there was nothing I could do about the past. It was definite as hell. Sometimes I didn't get Marie. I really thought a night by Jones's pool would help her relax. She used to love it there. So that's her and I. But she insisted someone had been watching us. I just wanted to have a good time, and she was ruining it. So I said some things I shouldn't have. She just stood there, staring at the window. I was so annoyed. And that's when I knew she'd been right. Trevor. Trevor. Right there in the room. He'd just come in through the open window. Ew. How did he, he find he us? He came through our bedroom He didn't know window? where Marie and I lived. I always made sure of that. 
but he took an orange from his backpack and started peeling it. It had been Trevor by the pool, and he'd followed us home. Watching you guys. He said to he, Marie, one of you was I naked. told you not to mess with me, but still, I didn't get it. No, it wasn't no, until I'm he glad. started moving in on her that I realized it was Marie. He was after Marie. He blamed her for everything, and he had a knife. This is not Marie's fault. I'd never seen him so angry, so evil. Marie tried to get it away from him. He asked her why she never answered her phone. Did she not read her emails? Or did she think they were hollow threats? God, I just wanted to punch him with anything I could lay my hands on. Grab my backpack. backpack girl and just hit I him smashed it against his wrist, knocking the knife out of his hands. Marie went for it, Good job. but Trevor was faster. He kicked her in the head. I dove for the knife, but he jumped me. As we struggled, he hissed. Didn't I get enough action yet? Maybe I needed another baseball bat to get my kicks. I stopped. What? Because right then I knew what he was up to. He asked Marie about Mr. Torres. Was he all right? Did he still get stomach aches? Marie lay on the floor by the bed, in shock. Realizing it had it been Trevor two. who almost killed her father. Then Trevor looked at me, added with a smile. And her. That's when it all went to pieces. Trevor ripped us apart, and he was enjoying it. Marie didn't understand. I tried to explain, apologized, but she wasn't listening. She kept what? asking me Why? if I'd been there with Trevor in their house. Trevor stirred things up even more. He told her it was me who had hit her over the head with a baseball bat, that I'd enjoyed it. Why? I screamed in frustration, no, that's you. not what happened. Tears streamed down Marie's face. She couldn't believe I would do that. Hurt her deliberately. God, I wanted Trevor to stop talking. I attacked him, it's scratched his face, hit him wherever lying. I could. I hated him. The problem. He was twisting everything. I wanted to tell her that I was sorry. Yes, we robbed the house, and we oh, got why? caught by Mr. Torres. But I never meant for anyone to get hurt. I didn't smash Marie's head. I panicked. I wanted to stop her from seeing me. When I realized how badly injured she was, I called the police. I tried to stay. What but were you stealing? Trevor wouldn't let me. He pulled me by my hair into the van. But Marie wasn't listening. I was losing it, and I like to think I beat Trevor up pretty good. But Trevor punched back harder and faster. He was about to crack my skull. Marie clawed for the box beside her, opened it. She screamed, told us to stop, pointed that 9 millimeter at us. Trevor went nuts, charged for her. She screamed, Why? told him to stay back. She'd never shot a gun in her life. She wasn't going to start now. Trevor grabbed her by the shoulders and... What do you think you remember you is not shot. necessarily what really happened or how others remember it. But Trevor fell back on the carpet, dead. Okay, Trevor. That we all remember. Did you get the journal? I'll be down in a minute. Anna Marie is getting Hello. a little worked up here. She threatened to smoke a cigar in your car. Don't let her. Don't let her smoke. I love that car. She knows you do. Get down here, Mom. You're taking, like, forever. I'll be down in a minute. Bring the journal. So I'm assuming I never found Bumblebee. I regret food recipe. I re regret the science project. I regret it all. My father could have died because of me. My inability to pick real friends. Kelsey never was who she said she was. I never really knew her. It turned out. It's all been bullshit. I'm so stupid. I should have realized it that la la night and walked away for good. Because someone died right in this room, I made him die. I pulled a trigger. 
Need a bullet pierce his head. Made his blood soak the carpet, drip through the cracks into the floor where it will remain forever. To bear witnesses to what I'm capable of. I can't stay here. Am I the same? I don't know anymore. I have to fix this. Fix me. Away from her, I have to focus on the positives in my life. Stop questioning myself. Why did she do it? Why did I do it? Did I deserve this? Am I an evil person? A killer? I shot him in the head for Christ's sake. Could have gone for the leg. Dad calls the intrusive thoughts. I say they're true. I'm stronger than I look. I can do this. I will go up north to Uncle George, as Dad suggested. Nice and cool up there. I'm able to think. And finish high school. I am leaving the show here because I need to a clean skate. A fresh mind. I'm sorry. Dear diary, maybe I'll send for you someday when all this is long over and I'll deal with being a murderer. So is this a... Yeah, so that is... New End. Yes, yeah, so you know you read my journal. I was the one that would read it. She wouldn't talk to me on the phone, so what else could I do? I drove all the way up there to Vancouver, freezing my ass off in that tin Ooh, can of came car. Canada. I just want to see if there's any more pieces of information before I leave. Yeah, the window's fixed. That's a positive, right? of Edith Finch and I actually liked it a lot. I thought it was really cool, really well done and I liked it a lot actually. So if you find anything like this please let me know in the comments below. Tell me any game types. This is on Steam for free at this moment of time. I don't know if they're going to change it or not but go check it out. It's just called Marie's Room. And yeah. Anyway. Dry out says in the next video. Sarcasm out and let's bring it in for a base because it's home. Bye bye. See ya. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, I saw a PMA reference on the diary. I don't know if that's a Jack Septic reference or not. Maybe? I don't know.